Before I begin, I want to say that the app router is pretty amazing in how it consolidates and simplifies the different forms of server-side React. But that said, I'm sure you've seen tons of memes about the app router and how it's frustrating developers, and you might be wondering why that is the case. So to demonstrate the reason, let's take a look at an example. If the issues with the app router were easy to understand, the next team would fix them immediately. Sadly, the issues only show up in real-world examples. As a reference, I can cycle easily between the home page and the courses page and everything renders on the server perfectly fine. However, if I press the back button, you would expect that the behavior would be the same, but sadly it is not and we are presented with this error. Async await is not yet supported in client components. And as you can see, there is not much help guiding us where the issue lies within our code base. Additionally, the error message, this error is often caused by accidentally adding use client is actually not correct for our example as we do not fall within the often category. And it can be quite hard to dig through your code base and find the actual issue. Just for your curiosity, in our particular code, the issue lies within this component. You can see that we didn't actually mark it as a client component and therefore felt safe marking this as an async component. And if you see the error message, it's actually a bit misleading as it's sending us on a wild goose chase for some file where we have accidentally added use client and you can see that we didn't actually mark this as use client. Now the fix is actually going to be quite easy. We accidentally marked this as async when there is actually no use case for this being an async component. And now with the async keyword removed, just like the standard rendering of our components between courses and the homepage, the back button works perfectly fine as well. This is just one example of the app router not giving the correct result and only failing in weird scenarios. Having been a software developer for a long time, I'm used to finding and fixing these weird edge cases. That said, I totally expect this to improve over time and in general, like all libraries, I put my trust in testing strategies over blind faith in some software system and that is always the right approach.